Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Patch Day Kinda. As you probably know, the second Tuesday of every month is typically both Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. However, this month is kind of weird. Because of the meltdown and Spectre flaws, which I've been talking about in previous videos, Microsoft actually released all their security patches early, last Tuesday, which is typically their non-security update. So technically, Microsoft has already released updates for all versions of Windows, the .NET framework, Office packages, and their browsers like IE and Edge. And by the way, these patches were released early largely to have a cumulative update for Meltdown and Spectre, but that's not the only thing they're patched. They also patched some other SMB flaws as well, so you definitely want to get those patches if you haven't already. That said, being today is the real typical Security Patch Tuesday, I figured I'd give you some updates on those patches, which is they're not working well in some situations. First of all, Microsoft has released a blog post talking a little bit about this, but some users have reported the expected performance issues. More importantly though, is these patches seem to brick or prevent certain AMD computers, uh, mostly older AMD processors or maybe some old Intel processors as well from working. So there are some issues with these patches, which isn't too surprising considering these patches contain some pretty major kernel updates. That said, as you apply these patches, you need to realize that there are some caveats and some issues. In fact, Microsoft may not allow certain systems to patch right now. They're pulling some of the patches back to fix them. Another interesting point comes from a security expert named Kevin Beaumont, who posted a blog post talking talking about another mechanism that Microsoft has built in for these Meltdown and Spectre patches. Without going into all the detail, there are some antivirus products that do things that aren't really compatible with these patches and can put systems in bad situations, including a blue screen of death. So Microsoft has added the need for a certain registry entry, and AV vendors will have to add this registry entry in order to allow systems running the AV to actually get updates. So really, what's the practical takeaway of all these updates I've given you? First of all, I would try to apply Microsoft's patches from last week as quickly as possible. These meltdown inspector issues can be significant, and if the patches work, you do want to apply them. That said, Typically, my advice is to test production server patches, which means testing patches before for pushing them to servers like your email or web server. However, in the past, I've been kind of less uh, worried about you testing desktop patches. In the past, Microsoft's normal desktop uh, patches have worked pretty well. So I've actually recommended for normal desktops to put on the auto update mechanism, letting your computer automatically and immediately receive patches. This particular update changes that advice at least temporarily. This particular meltdown and specter patch is is pretty significant and can have negative impacts on your system. So even for normal desktop clients, I highly recommend you test these Windows patches before applying them to your systems. Now, in the past, people have also asked me, how do you test patches? And I typically answer with virtualization. If you create a virtual image of your typical desktop image, it's a great place to test patches before deploying them physically. However, in this case, you may also have to test on physical systems. Uh, how these patches will affect your system heavily depends on what processor a particular system is using. So long story short, you will probably have to get a typical physical version of this system that you deploy throughout your network and test these updates there before you actually deploy them to all your users. And really my final tip is uh, realize that these patches will continue to evolve. Even if this patch does have some performance issues, or if you're worried about this new change to the registry uh, that AV vendors have to do, don't worry too much. The industry will catch up with this. They'll find different ways to mitigate this issue. They'll find ways to lessen the performance impact. But that does mean you have to keep up with all the latest patches as Microsoft and other vendors release them. So to summarize, last week was actually Microsoft Patch Day but if you didn't go and download all your security updates then, use today's real patch day to do so. Be sure to test the patches first and realize that some people are having issues with them. 
By the way, today is also Adobe Patch Day, and while it has nothing to do with Meltdown Inspector, they did release an update for Flash, Flash Player specifically, which is pretty typical. If you happen to use Flash Player in your network, you definitely want to go and get that Adobe security update as soon as possible. By the way, while it's nothing real new, bad guys have often used fake versions of Flash Player to install malware on systems. And apparently there's a new campaign largely targeting nation state like targets, but that's using a fake Flash Player. So besides updating your version of Flash with the legitimate Adobe version, be careful for the fake Flash Players out there. That's it for today's Patch Day news. Thanks for watching.